If you think the Omicron COVID variant is just passing through and is not going to have too much effect and you think that we are easing our way out of the general mess, then there are a lot of undervalued stocks that got smashed by the first round of COVID back in early 2020 through into 21 that's sitting out there possibly offering good value for trading and investing. Now one of those stocks might be Carnival Cruise Lines and in today's chart of the day I'm going to take a look at their stock price, the technical analysis to see what's going on and where they could be heading next. Hello I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. <laughs> So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. Let's have a look at the weekly line chart first to get some longer term perspective on what's been going on with the price. We can see from 2012 all the way up, you know, 2018, as the cruise industry you know, built up more and more, more cruise lines being ordered, you know, popularity expanding rapidly, the Carnival Cruise Line price moved up very nicely. Then it had actually even before COVID, you know, hit, started to fall off, and then you can see that dramatic drop when COVID did finally hit, and a sort of recovery, and it's been a very bumpy ride so far. But I've drawn on a couple of lines around the Fibonacci, those two yellow shaded areas which can capture a lot of the price action going back through 2013 and 15. But you can also see it's where it broke down when coronavirus actually hit hard. And you can see how it then tried to bounce up and couldn't get past the 38.2% Fibonacci line around about $32. So that's a key number to the upside. And at the moment, it's just starting to turn around again, but we've got another Fibonacci line at $23 that could prove a hurdle. Sort of looking like a bit of a head and shoulders pattern from a small uptrend. So something to watch out for because that could send it back to the lows again. So if this Omicron thing kicks off and 2022 is a write off, then it could be looking not so good for Carnival. But like I said, that yellow shaded area, there's no, no man's land in between that before it can start to you know, think longer term again to the upside. The four line break chart then for reversal uh, signals. In this instance, it's looking for a bullish entry and we can see the $18 mark there. That'd be my two bar aggressive entry level that's been broken already so the next upside number if we're taking a pure four line break chart it's about twenty dollars so that's why I'd be looking for in combination with the stochastics at the bottom moving up through the 20 zone for a possible long entry point. The daily high can actually shows really from late last year into this year more sideways you know, trending market between $19, $18 and up to $32, $33 hasn't really pushed out either side of that. It hit the bottom just a few days ago and is looking like it's reversing. As we can see our signals hotting up to the bullish side. Volatility double what it normally is at 88% per annum and volume starting to turn green. So the signs are good. You know, it's a long way off of you know actual buy signals yet from our two line pink box breakout setup but it's you know starting to look a bit more encouraging but i think it's all going to be driven by the news of you know omicron and covid as to how quickly 
if at all it can recover. Finally I look at the Renko chart then so all our signals are positive and bullish and we're going to the chart I've done longer term Fibonacci lines going back to the highs around 2018 and the short term trend because I want to see a confluence of those Fibonacci lines and we've got one now I've shaded that yellow interesting that take that back to the weekly line chart it's the same sort of area 32 um, dollars seems to be the significant upside number so under that I think it could be range trading above that then it could start to trend more significantly but it's got a way to go to get up to that $32 in the short term $22 $26 first and then to that 31 32 area downside wise if it can't you know go any further then you know down to that support at 16 and a half and then 12 and then 10 but at the moment it's starting to look a bit more encouraging you know it's still under the longer term moving average and under our box breakout two line system there still got some work to do but you know it's looking a little bit more encouraging so at the moment it's a bumpy volatile ride for carnival cruise line at the moment but it is in a sort of wide range like we pointed out and I'm going to score them neutral at the moment and that's really also factoring in the fundamentals of COVID there because that will send it I think in either direction a lot more quickly but overall Haikinashi, Renko both neutral and we've got bullish upsides on the four line break chart on the top right there entries 19 and 20.35 and in the targets 1.71 3.43 to 1 to the upside if you're quite aggressive in the entry and then to the downside similarly 1.67 2.5 to 1 uh, at the moment give carnival cruise line a neutral overall score like i mentioned right at the start there are some great stocks out there that are way undervalued that if things can sort themselves out you know would be great to jump in on you know for a lot of upside now you can prepare yourself for this and i think this is the best way to have a plan you know find the sectors find the stocks that you want to be in and then you're gonna have to move quickly because it's all down to the news of covid how it's you know affecting these industries and sectors if you're there in the right place right time with your plan then you can execute and get into these trades a lot more easily as for carnival right now pretty neutral it's waiting really I think to see what's going on with the Omicron strain of COVID so it has got some key areas to look out for $32 sort of mark for the upside and it can still range a lot lower if things turn a bit nastier let me know what you think of Carnival Cruise Line or whether you've got any other stocks that you want me to have a look at or investigate in this sort of area that have been infected by COVID let me know in those comments below would love to hear your feedback and if you like today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification of content I will be producing and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading I'll see you in the next video